Hi guys, uh, Mayan here. This is my Israeli culture workshop and in this video we're going to talk about Israel, everything in Israel, um, the food, the people living in Israel, the language, um, dating, dancing, music, geography. We're gonna cover all of those subjects so if you want to look stay tuned and now we will start the video. First topic we are going to talk about today is Israel geography. So some of you may be wondering, where is Israel? Usually when you are a tourist, a Brazilian tourist, and you say, oh, I'm from Brazil, everyone says, ah, yeah, of course, Brazil, Carnaval, Samba, everyone knows Brazil. And then when I say I'm from Israel, people go like, what? Where is that? So I happen to have an atlas at my house, so I can show you. So as you can see, my camera's on selfie, so the world might be going the other way, but this is Brazil. It's right here in South America, and right here in between Africa, Asia, and Europe is Israel, right about here. Okay, so it's really in the center there. Um, another interesting thing about Israel that it's a very very small country so from north to south it's only eight hours driving and I have gone in Brazil in 13 hour bus rides which for me were very hard because you know like everything is so close in Israel and it's just such a tiny country another cool thing about my country is that we literally have everything you like when it comes to different scenery and views so we have an amazing desert we have beaches and in the winter we also have snow in a couple of areas including Jerusalem um, people usually think Israel looks like this but actually there are a lot of amazing things uh, about Israel and about my country so there is a very nice YouTube video I recommend you to watch it uh, I will send the link um, in the workshop and you're more than welcome to look at it so second topic is the language so you're probably wondering what language is spoken in Israel I will tell you da -da -da -da. Hebrew! Okay, what is Hebrew and what does it sound like? So I'm just gonna speak a little bit right now. Uh, Shalom, korim ni mayan, ani mi Israel, ani bat 23, ani meod oevet li schot ve likro ve zumba ve kol mine dvarim. Yeah, that's how it sounds like. And the writing is quite different as well, so it's written like this. Yeah, I basically wrote, hi, my name is Mayan. So the writing and oh, also it's we write from right to left. So in English you write from left to right. In Hebrew it's the opposite. Also our books are opened from right to left. Actually, you can see on my atlas, this is um, some Hebrew writing for you guys. Yeah. Also, another language spoken in Israel is Arabic. I myself don't know much Arabic. I only know a little bit and I can write as well, but not as good, obviously, as I know Hebrew. And that actually leads me to my next topic, which is groups of people living in Israel. Woo! As I was saying before, we have two languages spoken in Israel. One is Hebrew and the other one is Arabic. Okay, why is that? Because we have a big percentage of the population. I am not sure um, how much, I would say about like 25% of the population is actually Arab. It could be Muslim Arab, it can be uh, Christian Arab, but there are a lot uh, of Arabs living in Israel and they have an amazing culture, amazing food. Um, I actually have an Arab town right next to my town. Um, I live in the little town next to the beach. It's very, very lovely. And yeah, so that's one of the major groups living in Israel. And, and then the other group is Jewish people. So me, I'm Jewish. So another cool and interesting topic that we're going to talk about today is Israeli technology and Israeli inventions. 
So you've probably heard of Silicon Valley that has a lot of startups like Google and Apple. So Israel is second place in the world of a countries with most startups in the world. Um, there are a lot of very, very cool inventions and startups in Israel happening right now. And I just want to show you guys some of the Israeli companies that have been invented in Israel or other inventions. The first one I'm going to show you is... Waze! Yes, Waze is an Israeli invention. I use Waze all the time just, you know, to see where there's less traffic or how to get to somewhere. I really do not see my life without it. Okay, so the second one that I will show you is this little guy, the pen drive slash disc on key or whatever you like to call it um, by a company called SanDisk and it is a great invention used to pass your information from one place to the other and it is really, really cool. Yeah, so that's another uh, Israeli company and invention and the last one that I will show you is... Cherry tomatoes, my favorite kind of tomato. Yes, this tomato is not originally from the earth. It was developed in an Israeli lab in Jerusalem and it is a very yummy thing created in Israel and now sold around the world. Yeah, so this is the Israeli inventions that I'm going to show you today. And if you want to know more about the technology, the internet is a great source for that.